Hi everybody, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. I uh, hope you're all well. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started on this video, this is a channel for adults. The videos on this channel are not made for children in any way, shape or form. Um, so a subscriber asked me, or a viewer asked me to do a video on the Black Widow pencils, much like I did the WH Smith colouring pencils, because they are a budget brand. Um, so, I'm... This is that video. So first of all, Black Widow. Black Widow are made by a company, I believe, called MediHealth. I'm just having a look at their website. Um, uh, just to have a quick look. So they're a premium quality wax pencil. Their menu doesn't work. And there are five current sets. So the very first set that came out was literally just called Black Widow. So this is the Black Widow pencil. It's obviously black. It's a black barrel with a black core, which does make seeing these darker colours, this is Cephal Blue, seem very, very hard to see. I have got a swatch shot somewhere. I don't know where it is. I'll see if I can find that in a moment and I'll, I'll show you the swatches for the sets I've got. So when they first brought the pencils out, they didn't have the um, colour name or a number on them and they came in a cardboard box. So when they were bringing out their second set of pencils, they redesigned to an extent the Black Widow pencil like this. So they kept the same black barrel and black core, but instead they have put on their Black Widow, they've given them a number, and then they've got the colour name, which is, like I said, this one's Zephyr Blue, can't really see it, but it is there as you can see. And then there's a little spider next to it. So they do listen to what their customers are saying. People were saying, we need to know, we want the colour name, we want a colour number, so it's easy for us to swatch them and find them when we're looking for them. So when they went from the cardboard box to the tin that these now come in, they made that change. Um, they then brought out the Scorpion of Hensel, which is almost identical, except for the writing is in white. Um, again, it has the name, the number, the fact that it's Scorpion, and then there's a picture of a Scorpion on the end. They're exactly the same hexagonal barrel with black wood. And then the last set they've brought out is Cobra of, of 24. Um, and uh, again, black barrel, black curl, hexagonal. This time the writing is in gold and it says Cobra, the number CB for Cobra, SC for Scorpion, BW for Black Widow, and then the title, the colour, opal green, and then there is a Cobra, a snake there. So that was the first three sets that they brought out as colour pencils. As you can see, I use mine quite a lot. There's some very short ones. Now I've got these in a case that's made for 72 pencils. I am now going to be ordering a 150 or 200 case for these. The reason is that there are another two sets we haven't looked at yet, these ones for skin tones. Um, but the reason I'm probably going to go for 150 or a 200 set is there's a new set coming out soon and I'll talk about those in a minute. So then they brought out, last year, two sets of skin tones. Light tones, as you can see, I've got muck on mine because I took it into Tenerife with me, and dark tones. So prices for these are, let me just have a look quickly. Uh, I should have had this ready, but I didn't. So for the Black Widows, they're currently out of stock, um, the Black Widows. But the Cobras are currently on Amazon UK for £12.97. I think that's the only one they've got in stock, actually, other than skin tones. Um, let me just see. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's the only one that's in stock. They are hoping to get the others back in stock fairly shortly. And the skin tones are on sale for 12, between £12 and £13 for 12 pencils, so that's each. So let's have a look at the light and dark tones. So as you can see, I haven't got a case for these yet. So again, they've made another change to the pencil design, as you can see. So we've got our light and our dark tones here. 
they exactly the same except for a skin tone light has SL and the number and the dark tone has SD and then the number and then th and then of course the name. Now the change they made with this one is something that else that the customer was asking for and that is for a colour match tip on the end of the barrel so that you can see what the colour is because like I said with the darker colours so if we go into the dark tones and pick up this one here, which I don't think I've used it, which is mud, you can't really see the colour. It sort of fades into the tip. But if you look here, and you can't really tell in this light, but it is a different colour to the um, other one, to the barrel. So as you can see on this one, you can really see it on the olive gold. It gives you an idea of what the colour is. It's not 100% accurate. But again, it just shows that the company listens to their customer. Now the proof, proof of that pudding is going to be in the new set which is due to come out at the end of May, beginning of June time. The no, new set, all I know so far from Albert over at Black Widow is that the new set will be 48 pencils in the set and they are all different colours. So that will take your total colours up to 144. Because Black Widow seem intent on bringing out new pencils, that's why I'm thinking of getting a 200 slot case. All that means is when I, if, if they just keep it at those 144, I will just, if I buy a new set, I will just take them out of the tin and put them in the remaining slots. And then as I get rid of the pencil or I use it all up, I'll just take it out of that slot and put it where it belongs. I don't have them in colour order. I know some people have put them in colour order, but I have just left them in whatever order they came in. So, those are the pencils. Let me see if I can find the swatches. So here's my swatch chart, I managed to find it. I was using the book in another area. So this is just the um, Black Widows to their, the Scorpions. It gives you an idea of how vibrant the colours are. And the Cobras and the Skin Lights. And then we go on to the Dark Tones there. So there's not enough for the next set, but that's okay. I did mean to leave an extra page, but I didn't, but that's okay. So, what can you achieve with the Black Widows? I'm gonna show you. So before we start coloring, and before I show you what picture I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you some pictures that I personally have colored with the Black Widow pencils. So I took two Halloween books, or two horror books, on holiday with me to Tenerife, and I took with me, um, the three main Black Widow sets and the skin tone lights. I didn't have the darks at that point. So I'm gonna show you what I colored while I was on holiday. You would have seen this if you've watched the October wrap up. So I've just gotta find them because they're not marked because of course I'm not prepared as usual. So the first one I did was this one, which was the lady, the dead lady selling herself at night by the pool. Um, I've done a blood pool. So this was, this is all Black Widows. I put some extra blood on it. I mean, these weren't there. Because uh, I thought, well, if she's been in the water, she would be trailing blood everywhere, wouldn't she? <laughs> Paul thinks I've got a sick sense of humour. And I also took the Colour in Heaven Halloween special, but not this one that I brought down with me. So I can't show you the ones I wanted to. It's because I've got two, but it wasn't that one. Um, I have coloured another picture. Where is it? I did one. It is a Colour in Heaven one. It was a freebie that they gave us for this Easter. So I'll show you that instead. And that was this bunny. Again, this was all done with the Black Widow pencils. Um, using both the dark tones and light tones and the main sets as well. So yeah. I don't think I did Black Widows with the first one, did I? I did in this one. That's what, That one I did last year. Possibly. But I don't know, so I can't say. So anyway, that was also done with them. Just so you can see that you can use them in different ways. That one was very burnished, bright, and, done, and this one's a little bit more pastel. Okay, so that's what you how you can colour. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be colouring in Colour in Heaven magazine Fantasy Princesses Special. The reason I'm going to be using this book is I really like the way... The, the, I mean, the pencils work really well on most paper, but on this Colour in Heaven paper, it is just pretty fantastic. And we're going to do this switch. <coughs> so, as before, I will um, 
pick out some colours and I'll do little sections. So I'll do some of her skin and I'll do some of her dress and I'll do, let's say, the pumpkin and, and some and a br bits of a broom and one of the birds. And then what I'll do is I'll go away, I'll colour the rest of the picture in like I did in the W. H. Smith video and then I'll come back and I'll colour the background um, in different colours. So we'll start with uh, yellow, orange, red, purple, blue and really dark blue. So it sort of fades out into different colours just so you can see how they blend. So that's how we're going to do it. So let's get started. So we're going to start with, um, on the Black Widows, we're going to do her face um, using some skin tones and some of the main set of the Black Widow pencils. So I'm going to use um, one of the lighter colours to start with, which is um, from Skin Tone Light and it's SL07 Merc. So it's this colour. I do think they have fantastic names. Now, where have I put my sharpener? I like a sharp point on these Black Widows. It's quite a sharp one on this one. But... And then we're just going to have a look at this and see. So this is a very pale, light colour. To start with. And the last... Um, skin tone I did using Black Widow. I used a mixture of light and dark tones to get different well, a different look. We'll just put it all over her face including her her lips. We won't put it on her eyes obviously because yeah that would be silly. So it's a very very light colour as you can see so we just start with that one like that. And when I'm doing faces and skin, I try and do all the skin first. So we've got a bit here, I think. Yeah, she's wearing... It's hard to see whether she's wearing a blouse. I'd say she's wearing a collar because that looks like um, cleavage. So I will do that as skin. She's wearing some sort of collar. And of course it doesn't matter if she's not. But we will. It gives us a bit more skin to play with. It's a, a light covering bit there. And then, of course, we've just got her hands. She's got tights on, so we don't worry about that. And we'll just do her hands. Which are down here. You can't see those. I just move my tea out of the way. So these books are really good. The paper in the Colour in Heaven books, I will say, is brilliant. And most pencils will work fine with them. In fact, I don't think I found a pencil that doesn't work on them. Um, I particularly like the Black Widows on these Colour in Heaven books, but that's my personal, that's a personal thing to me. So we'll probably use a Merc again. I'm going to go and use a bit of light mocha, which definitely needs a bit of a sharp. Which is, this is actually one from the dark tones, but it's just a little bit of a darker colour. Just to give her a little bit more depth. So as you can see, even though it's from the dark skin tones, we use a very light layer. And I do use a lot of layers on skin tone. It's the only time I do. I don't mind layering on the skin. So on here, I'm just going to make a note very lightly so I know what colours I've used because I might eat if I like the way it comes out then I will use it again. And my problem is I very, very rarely write down what I've used. So I never know. So next is a bit of eggshell from the light pens. lips mm. 
Okay. I mean, I do put several layers, but I don't spend a lot of time really doing the skin. Because I'm afraid I'm one of those people, I will get very bored if I <clears throat> spend too long doing one section. So we're going to put some blush. This is it's called blush. This is from the Light Skin Tones. I'll just put that down here. It gives her a bit of pink to her face. Very lightly. We can always go in lightly because you can always put more on if you need to. And I'll put that on her lips as well. She doesn't look like she's a big lipstick kind of girl. And then I'm going to put in a colour that's not from the skin tones. This is from the Scorpion set and it's, it's called Dark Tan. So we're just going to put this round here at the top. A bit in over here. Like I said, just lots of little layers. I mean, I don't do tutorials as such because I'm not the best colourist, I will admit. I colour because I enjoy it and I colour the way I enjoy it. Um, I am getting a bit more daring with skin and trying new things. And I'm happy to colour different coloured skin, you know, like blue or green. It worries me doing a very dark skin tone because I would hate for it to look awful and to offend, offend anybody, to be honest. So, there we go. So, and I'll just put a little bit on her fingers as well. So the skin tones work. You don't just have to use the skin tone set. Like I said, I'm using this one. It's called Dark Tan and it's from the Scorpion set. So, you know, you can use other colours. There are a few colours from the main set that you can use as well. You don't have to buy them all. I, I personally really like them. And then I go back to Merc, which is the lightest colour again, just to go over. use it to blend it out a bit so that dark tan it looks quite dark on the picture but it, it's on the, the screen but it's not too bad on the actual page it looks quite good so we're just going to blend it in you can also use a blending pencil sometimes I use a prism color one um, if I'm doing other areas and I need to blend but for, for the skin I just tend to get the lightest color and just go back over like so. I might put a bit more blush on because I think she could use a bit more blush. There are some brighter ones as well. There's one that's called Rust, which is again, it's a more pinky orangey color. Then we got uh, Pretty Pink and then there's a Fairy Floss color. I might use Fairy Floss actually. Let's have a look at Fairy Floss. This is a very pinky color. Put the blush one back. Um, as you can see, this is very, very pink. Just to give her a bit of a flush to her face. There we go. Looks okay. So, and you will find different things to use. And I haven't written down all the colours I've, I've used. I know I used like mocha, I used blush, dark tan, and fairy floss. Just so I know. If I look back, I think, yeah, I quite like that. I'm going to do that again. Maybe I won't use the dark tan, or maybe I won't use the blush, and I'll try a different colour in there instead. We'll just go over that, make sure it's nicely blended in. I 
and if possible I will go over it with the Prismacolor blender later as well just to finish it off but I'll, I'll show you if I do so so I'll just come in here and do that blend it all in I uh, just love the way that these pencils go down on this this paper is it's absolutely stunning so so it's worth getting all the sets that you can get from these uh, black widows because like I said I used I mean there are two um, there's tanned and dark tan in the other uh, sets and I've just used the dark tan on that one I, and I quite like the way that that looks I'm quite happy with that it looks a bit this bit looks really bright on the camera but it's not that bright in real life so I'm quite happy with that so um, I won't put the skin tones away because I do find sometimes I use those colors for other things as well so there is a color called pumpkin so we will use that but I want another orange as well I think I might use carrot which is Oh, no, it's, it's, it's in here. Is it this one? It's in the skin tones, I think. Sherbet. It must be this one. This one here. Yes, carrot. So we've got okay, this colour. It's a bright orange and it's in the skin tone set, but I'm actually going to use it to do part of the pumpkin. So I'm going to put a layer of this on to start with. As you can see, it's a lovely shade of orange. Perhaps if you're colouring Donald Trump, you'd use this colour. these lovely vibrant colours this is a very light layer I'm, I'm very lightly shading for me and I really like this colour I like the way this is coming out already I like the way it looks I like her skin now I normally do my witches, I don't normally do them in black, I usually do them in a, a purple colour or something like that. So I haven't decided yet what colour I'm going to do her clothing. I mean, she's called Black Mage, so I, but I don't want to do black. I might give her black hair, though. Right, so now I want one from here, which is from the Black Widows, which is the pumpkin. Which obviously is another, another orange colour. These are very soft, and I do find that my Black Widows, I think they must have been dropped on the way to me because they do tend to break. Um... They're still really good pencils. I use them a heck of a lot, so. So this is actually called pumpkin, this color. So we're just going to. You can see this blends very, very well with this um, other orange, the carrot. And there are so many good colors. I'm really looking forward to seeing what colours are going to be in the next set when they come out, um, which I believe is in uh, at the end of May, beginning of June, probably June now I'd say, but uh, I'll be getting mine as soon as I can, can order them. So. I'll put a bit 
more. to the carrot. Let's have a go over that again now. Blend it all together. So as you can see, they're very similar shades. They're not that different. But you can see the difference. Um, which is good. So we're just going to do little bits of um, pieces and we'll have a look at uh, what else colours. So as you can see they blend lovely. Now I don't normally make a plan when I'm colouring of what colours I'm going to use. I just go with how I feel um, when I'm working on a picture. So. That's just the way I prefer to work. I might have an idea with some pictures of what I want to achieve. And normally I know what I want to do with the background if I'm going to do a background. So for this one, we'll do a blended background like we did um, in the Alice book with the W.H. Smith. So we'll go from like um, green, yellow, orange, red, purple, blue um, up. So it goes like that. Um, she is sort of like, uh, you know, so we'll do that sort of blended background like we did before. Just so we can see how they go. And there are lots of different colours and I will pull those out when I before I do that. Because what I'll do is, once I've shown you a few more colours from the set, I will turn it off, colour it, and then I'll go and do the background on camera later when I've done the rest of the picture but we haven't finished yet at all no not at all because I haven't shown you much yet just the skin tone and the pumpkin now pop that back I like the pumpkin yeah, I might need a little bit more actually just here so as you can see I'm only doing it very lightly I'm not hard I'm not pressing down I'm not Doing that so we want some yellows now for the eyes mouth and the flames so there is a color called fire in here somewhere I'm sure there is I'm just gonna have a look for what I want that might be my imagination but, uh, I'll just have a quick look through what I've got fire yes Cobra 50 There it is. And we also want some nice yellows, so we want a good yellow. Nugget, I think, is a good yellow for that. Nugget is a yellow I use a lot. Um, I'll show you in a second, so sharpening. But they all do. I'll keep out my pumpkin one as well because I need that one. So. Again, I've been using this one recently on another book. I've got to change my battery. I won't be a second. Okay. So this one is from the Cobra set and it's, it's CB50 and it's called Fire. So what I'm going to do is just put a sort of pinprick in his eyes. So we're going to make his eyes look like they're actually glowing red. And then we're going to get Nugget. Oh, it looks quite creepy actually. And we're going to just go around that like that.
I haven't finished yet, so I mean it is, it does look quite creepy. I am going to put some more fire in his, his. Okay, so that's that one. I'm going to get another yellow now from a different section. I'll put this one back. And I think we'll go with banana from the beginning because that's a really bright yellow and I've used a lot of this one. This is from the Black Widows, so as you can see this is one of the red written pencils. I've used it quite a bit actually. I do like this this yellow. It's it is just called banana, it's very yellow, and it's just to make this look a little bit more fiery. So this is kind of like a, a smoke. Um, and it goes, this smoke goes all the way around. Um, and there's smoke, there's smoke coming up here. There's there, and then it comes, there's one that comes into there as well. So that might be a good way of blending as well. So we we'll do that to there. That goes up there. And then you've got this one here and this one here coming from these. And that one goes down there as well. So it's hard to say where they all go and finish from but uh, we'll just do this first little bit using the banana like so down to there and then we can always go back in and put some more in because we're just what we're going to do here is put some fire colour in And when we do the other smokes as well, we'll do the, we'll do the same with whatever colour we're using. So if we're doing green and yellow smoke, we'll use green and yellow or blue and, and purple. Or there's going to be all sorts of smoke colours, I think, on here. Like that. Gosh, that looks all right, then I like that. And like I said, I'll probably blend them out with my Prismacolor blender later as well. So when I do that, I will show you. And that'll just blend the edges a bit better, but I like, I'm liking the way that that's looking at the moment. Put a little bit more of this fire red on. Just to give it a little bit more anger. She's supposed to be a black mage princess, so. Okay. Let's put a bit in there. Like I said, it's just about layering it until you're happy with the way it looks and then blending it. And like I said, although I'm blending it with the colours at the moment, when I've finished, I will get the Prismacolor blender and blend over it and it will finish it off nicely, all of it, so there, there's that bit. I like that. I'm quite pleased with that. Normally I, I don't do very well with that sort of thing, but I really like the way that that's looking at the moment. So I'm going to actually go and pick a few more colours and then I'll come back and we'll do 
um, a bit more. I still haven't decided on what to do with clothes, so I'm going to think about that while I'm deciding. I'm probably going to do green and yellow on this one. Uh, this little bottle down here. So I've just got to find the right green. Okay, so I'm going to do some more smoke now. Um, I'm going to do from this bottle. And I'm going to do the smoke um, in green. And I'm going to use Irish green um, for the darker colour. And then for the really brighter colour, lime fruits. They're both from the Scorpion set. Lime fruit is SC29. And Irish green is SC45. So I'm just going to do a light layer of the lime fruit there. I think this is a lovely colour. Now some people have said they've had a problem with breakages with their lime fruits. So far, and I'm probably going to jinx, my, jinx myself now, I haven't had a problem with the lime fruits. I've had some with my Black Widows, for instance, I was going to use one of the Black Widow colours, but it, um, it keeps breaking and I thought I'm not going to even try. Because um, I'll be there forever trying to sharpen it. I think my Black Widows got dropped on in transit, to be honest. They're not all like it, but uh, some of them are. So I'm just going to take this green all the way up this smoke here. This it's in the middle. And then around here as well. There's a lot of smoke on this picture. So I'm not going to do it all. I'm just going to do this bit. Because uh, the idea is that I show you little bits go away finish it off, come back and do the background like I did on the other one. So now we're using the Irish green just to do this bottle but we're also going to use it around the lime fruits. I could have gone with a yellow which would have also worked really well with the um, greens but I thought I'd do it with the green. The lime fruits are nice colour, I don't use it enough. So going to do it like this and then what we'll do is once I've done a bit of this smoke I'll make a note of the colours and then I'll move on and we'll do her uh, some of her dress which we're going to do in purples and blacks I really still love these pencils at the moment. Them and the Prismacolors are my go-tos, followed by my Polychromos. I have been trying to use other pencils lately. I spread the love around, but uh, I really do love the Black Widows. I love the way they lay down. They work very well on this paper. And i got to be honest, most pencils work well on this um, Colour in Heaven paper. I, I think the quality of the paper that they use for a magazine is absolutely fantastic. So I'm just going to go up to there with that. And I'm just going to go over again with the Lime Fruit. Just so that it's all nice and vibrant so these videos do take a while to do because I do these in sections and I'm also working two jobs but I do really enjoy making these this sort of video where I show you how I use each colour and get the level of, of colour. So I'm just going to really concentrate on this sort of area here. So this this bit. Just so that you can see what I've done. So I'm just going around the edges now of the again of the lime with the Irish green. I'll go up as far as there. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my um, lime and I'm going to go over all of that and see how it, it blends in. I always use a lighter, the lightest colour to blend in or I use a Prismacolor blending pencil. So that's where it is, it'll go, yeah. That's fine. So that's what I'll use to try and blend in. So I've left the little star there and I may well use um, a gel pen, just a glitter gel pen on the stars. I might not, I might go with um, something else. So that's the green smoke. So as you can see, those two colours go very well together. And I don't practice having a look at what colours look well together. I literally just look at the swatch chart and pick colours I like. So. Uh, what I'll do is, so I remember which pencils I'm using, I tend to put them upside down. So, as you can see, they're all the right way up. That's a very small one there. <laughs> I'll put it that way, so that its point is facing in the opposite direction. So I've just got to change my battery and I'll be back. Okay, I've got a new battery and three new pencils because we're going to be going on to doing uh, part of her dress and her hat will be the same colour. And we're going to use black and purples and the colours I've got for this are um, Black Widow 8 Amethyst, uh, Cobra 80 Space and Skin Tones Dark 24 Midnight which is the black. So we'll go with the amethyst first which is actually my smallest pencil we're just going to do a bit on her sleeve so I'm just going to colour in here just this top part for now I love purple So that's our base layer of amethyst and like I said I am making notes of every colour I'm using other than these orange ones and yellows. Um, I'm not too worried about that. I'm sure I can find it anyway. I'm pretty sure there's not much else for that smoke. The rest of it is really coming from the green bottle. I might do some more orange. Um, so now I'm, I've got the space which is a very dark purple and I'm just going to put it in here. I'm going to go round here, round her cat, and there. just to give the, the, a bit of depth. I don't really worry about where the lights fall in because I'm no good at art. I colour things how I think they look and how I want them to look and I like like this. So go in again with the lighter colour. And this I probably will go in with the Prismacolor blender afterwards. Um, but I do like that, that looks quite nice. So with the black I'm literally only going to do the bands. So I've just got, there are three blacks in the Widow set so far. There's the one that's actually called Black Widow which is in the first set. And then there's another one which is flat black and this one is called midnight so you could possibly use the three but I'm just going to put it in different levels of layering and leave it like that and then just use the Prismacolor over the top so then what I will do now is we'll go and do this part of the sleeve Again using the amethyst. Mine keeps breaking as you can tell, sadly. Like so. And we'll get the uh, space, which is the darker purple. Just do a bit around there. Like that. And again with the amethyst. 
just over the top. And like I said, I'll, I'll get the Prism Colour uh, Blender on it and I'll show you how I use that um, a bit later on. And then again with the band, we'll go in with the Midnight. Like I said, I'm just doing that. So I'll continue to do that with those and I will show you how I use the burnisher or the blender when I come to do that. So I'm just going to get a few more colours and I'll be showing you the next bit. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, the broom handle now and I've got two colours of brown um, and then I'll show you what colours I'm going to use for the bristles. So the two colours I've got are Black Widow, um, BW31 which is Tarantula and then the next one is from the Stark Skin Tones out um, so it's SD10 Negra so they're very similar it's hard to say which one's lighter but we'll go with the Negra one it's hard to pronounce that without making it sound offensive we'll put that one on first it is a lovely colour so you can use the skin tones for anything, you don't actually have to use them just for skin. Um, I use them for all sorts of things. Not just for skin tones, So, but this is a lovely colour. Okay, so pop that there for now. I will do the whole part of the broom so I don't have to come back and make a note which colours I've used. Yeah, that's right. I notice she's also got a ribbon on her bristles and I will probably do that the same colour as her dress. So. so I think we need a bit more of the other colour because it's not showing up as much because it is very similar. Similar colour. It's a bit better. So I do apologise if my hair gets in the way. I know I have it tied back, but I've recently washed it, so it's just drying. I do use a hairdryer, but it's too hot in the summer. So again, I will use the Prismacolor blender pencil on this to ensure that it's good, looking good. And I do use that in this book, um, but that looks okay. We'll just go up to the next part here, which is this bit. I think that's breaking. Yeah, that's a broken nib, which is not good. See, because they, they're very soft, you've got to be so careful with them that you don't damage them. Um, that's fine, because I've finished with that one for now. There we go. So that's that, and I'm going to get the next two colours out, and I already know what they are. Put that one back in, assuming oh that one goes in there. And that was is this the one? Yeah, that one. And was the one above tarantula? 
So I just put it back. That one. They're not in the right order anymore. They used to be. I'll reorder them when I get a new pencil case for them because there's a new set coming out soon. I will be ordering a new pencil case because I've already got the 72 in one and the two tins. Just checking which is the darker of the two and I'd say it's this one. So I've got again two colours. Um, the lighter colour is just foxy brown which is Black Widow 22 and again using one from the skin tone darks for the br bristles I'm going to be using uh, SD 011 which is cinnamon. I use that colour a lot it's already getting shorter <laughs> so I'm just going to uh, do this section here and I'm just going to go a light layer over there like that I love this colour, Foxy Brown. It's one of my favourite colours in the set, I'm not going to lie. There we go. Let's put that in there like that. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. And then we'll get our cinnamon. Which I've actually turned the other way because it's short enough now that I can turn it upside down in the skin tones box. And we're just going to put some darker lines in. Just where you can see the bristles are. Just so that it still shows up that there are bristles there. Excuse my point breaking. Like that. I'll put that in darker at there as well. And then we'll just get foxy brown again and go over that nicely. So of course foxy brown has got a, a hint of red in it, so it's a lovely colour. So there we go. So that's how those sort of go together. So I've done several sections now. What I will do now is I'm going to go away, colour in the main part of the picture, and then come back and do a background. So I'll uh, turn the camera off now, go and do that, and then I will come back and show you what I've, what I've done using the techniques I've shown you, using the colours I've shown you, <coughs> those various sections, and maybe a few extra colours. Um, obviously I've got the birds to do as well. And then I'll come down and I'm going to do a... I've got some sort of insect on my page. Lovely. Scrape that off. Uh, a background where we go from yellow to dark blue. So it'll be yellow, orange, red, or no, green, yellow, orange, red, purple, blue to black. Um, so it's sort of like a, a fading thing, much like we did with the um, one in Alice on the W.H. Smith's pencils. Uh, so I'm going to go away and do that and I will come back in a bit and show you what I've done. Okay, so we're finishing off this uh, Black Widow's picture. As you can see, I have actually completed all the colouring on it. I decided to go with a blue background just simply because there was so much colour I thought any more colour would just make it look too messy. So the only thing I've really got finished is I've got to blend this bird up here, her hat and her face. So I've saved those bits to show you. So we'll just zoom it in and we'll do the bird first up here. This is a, a red and yellow. So the red I used was um, Ladybug and I think the yellow was uh, Lemonade. And I just take the pencil and with a little circular motion go around as you can see it's it's blending the red in the, oh, I've done black outline on these as well it's blending the red and orange and a bit of the black into the yellow part so as you can see it's just moving the uh, red around a little bit and bringing it in so we just go down in each of the feathers and Bring it around and up into the beak, like so. I have ordered now a pencil case for all the Black Widows, so it's a 160, I think, slot pencil case. 
Um, so there's enough of all the ones that are currently available and it'll be big enough to put in the um, ones from the the new set when it comes out now. There are two ways, because you tend to hand, there's not so much on this one, you tend to have a little bit of a, a blob of colour on the end of your blender pants afterwards. There's quite a good sharp point on that so I wouldn't sharpen that but what you can do is just get a piece of scrap paper I haven't got one so I'll just use the back of the cover and you can just do that and it'll take the colour off and you can carry on using the pencil without sharpening it so if we go on to her face if you remember I used lots of different colours on the face and we're just going to Blend it in a little bit better in the ears, like so. And it doesn't. It doesn't take long. The the longest bit was. God, it's so hot. The um. The background took a long time to blend all that down. So on again on the hat, I'm going to start at the point here and work my way across. I'm left-handed, so. And I'm just going to do it in little curls, little swirls. Light pressure, not too much pressure. But as you can see, it's it's darkening the lighter colour down a bit and blending it in with the, the darker. It does take out some of the white uh, streaks as well. Not a lot, because if you want to get rid of the light streaks, you need to put down a lot more pencil before you blend it all in which is something I haven't done on this one. I really like this picture, I like the way it's turned out. I really, really do, I like the colours. And once I finish this, I'll be posting it to the Friends of Colour in Heaven page, where I post most if not all of my Colour in Heaven pages. So do you see the difference between there where I've put blender pencil across and there where I haven't? And on here, I can see it better on the camera where I haven't been. So I, I know where I've got to go back over. I can see here I haven't. Although it doesn't really matter, it just leaves a little light bit. You can't really see much on the paper. It just shows up a lot more on the camera which is quite good actually so I'll carry on from where I was there and we'll just go across here like that as you can see a bit there I'm not going to take the top off because this is a darker purple anyway and it's got black in it as well to give it a bit of a shadow. So I don't know how well this is showing up but uh, there we go and then we'll do this side as well. So the name of this picture was the Black Mage Princess. I do like it though, I think it's a lovely picture, this artist is really good. I've done two in this book now. And I will do more, but I'm still working through my backlog of Colour in Heaven magazines. And I've got the Sarah K one come in and obviously the new one will be out on the 10th of June. So there we go, that is my completed page. I'll just turn it so you can see because I'm on a funny angle here. So this was done completely using the Black Widows, everything from the skin and like I said I used mostly skin tones but I used a mixture of the light and the dark skin tones but I also used the dark tan out of the normal set as well because um, you don't need to just use the skin tones, you can use the other ones as well if you want. So that is how I use the Black Widows and I, as you can see, I really love them. I've had to order another set. I know you can get them open stock if you order them directly from Albert and I'll probably do that with the Scorpions that I need to replace. 
but so many of my black widows need replacing I've just ordered a complete set uh, so that is it I hope you've enjoyed this video as soon as the 48 set is out I will be buying buying them and we'll do a swatch in and review session on those as well I'm sure they're going to be fantastic they have been delayed um, they were supposed to be out mid-June but they've been delayed down to July this is due to an issue they had with the t a problem with the tins that they were being sent out of it sounds like Albert wants to make sure it's absolutely bang on right um, and fair play to him I'm really looking forward to it it's going to be great to get them so I hope you have enjoyed this video that is all for today I will be doing another budget um, supplies colouring tutorial I don't like to say it's a tutorial because I don't think I'm good enough for tutorials uh, but how I would use another budget pencil I've got another three sets of budget pencils to do before I actually have to buy any more so I'm going to be doing um, Crayola next then I've got the Faber Castell Classics and then after that it will be the Marco Raffines I've also got those so I'll be doing one each of those and then I'll look to get um, either Castle Art or the Arteza 120 set which isn't that cheap but it's still very good value for money hope you've enjoyed this video uh, like I said the Black Widows are all available on Amazon they're all back in stock again now so I do highly recommend them they are my favorite pencils other than the Prismacolors which I absolutely adore um, but my go-to pencil pretty much at the moment is the Black Widows I'm using it a lot more like I said I took them on holiday last year and I think that's when I really got to grips with them and I really love them so I'm looking forward to the new set. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And obviously don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And click that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye, guys.